Well, this was uh, the final out of the four unboxings for this month, but uh, a couple hours ago I ended up seeing something else that I really needed to snag for a custom project. So instead of this being four out of four uh, unboxings, it's now four out of five. Um, I'll stop rambling and go on because I don't want to take up too much time. Uh, I've got way too much shit on the go. So it's, uh, it's a smaller one. It's actually got, it's not just one thing. This is actually three figures in one box. It's quite heavy, actually. Um, so I'll get onto where the shit goes on. Belt. Uh, as well, I would, like I said, I, I, I've been faffing about for the past couple of hours with bloody iCloud on my phone. And it's just, don't get me fucking started on iPhones. <laughs> Either way. Get this bad boy open. Shut. And here we go. Uh, not sure which one. Ah, okay. So that's uh, that one first. Um, get the other two out. The other two are the heavier ones because, um, well, you'll see in a minute. They are two extras. Four. Yep. Yeah, there's fucking loads of bits. So they are. Two extra uh, Yigmal Gene Stealers. Um, so to go with the one that I've got, which I'll show in a minute, because that one's now in the process of being painted, uh, these are two extras as well uh, to paint in different variants, which is nice, because there's quite a couple uh, different you know, high, uh, high fleets that have Yigmal Gene Stealers. So again, it's good to have a bit of variation. Uh, I will need to um, push the pin back in there. I don't know how it's turning out. The pin's popping out, not a problem. Just hairdryer, pop it in, easy. I mean, I had to take the dis disassemble the other one completely in order for painting purposes. So this this is nothing, um, right? So the arm here, snap that in there. I'm pretty sure that goes in the right one because I've got my other one disassembled at the moment. Uh, but it's no biggie because I'll uh, you know sort it out at some point. All right, so we've got a scything talon arm right here. That one will snap. Fucking hell, yeah, this one has not been messed around with as much because uh, the other one I've got, my main, my first one, is a lot easier to pop the bits in and out because obviously I've done it so much. Um, you know, a few times, whether it be for painting or pop, you know, for when I moved. Um, here we go, let's see, where's the other, uh, there's one more arm, here we go. Right, so that's uh, one more arm with the uh, little claws on it. And there we go, there is one of the two. Jeez, yeah, this one's still got really super fucking tight joints, which is good, except the hips, obviously, because the McFarlane hips are usually loose, not a problem. Um, but that is nice to see that. And the head. Seems to have pretty good range overall. Again. We've got two of these bad boys. I'm not going to start painting uh, these other two until I've finished that one and reviewed one of them because uh, I want to review one of them as is, like just the standard uh, grey, and then, you know, paint them up. But I've got to finish that one first because I can show in the video. Um, yeah, I still remember when I got this. This is quite a heavy figure, actually. It's quite big as well, which uh, just goes to show that Gene Steelers are fucking large. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they're some of the smaller Tyranid organisms as well. And by that, I mean, like... When you get them in the, the kits, uh, they're quite tiny. The little gene stealer kits are about that big. Uh, and these guys are like around, well, actually, they're not even human size. They're bigger. Gene stealers, are, you know, they are bigger than humans. They're around the height of space marines, if not slightly larger, slightly smaller. I'm not sure, give or take a bit. Uh, and the thing is, as well, is that space marines are, and the, the Astartes, they are like um, eight feet tall. Around eight, maybe maybe even ten feet. They're fucking huge. Jesus Christ, this, this is fucking tough to pop these in. So, uh, yeah, that goes to show just how fucking big the Gene Stealers are. And even even if they weren't as big, you don't want to trifle with a fucking Gene... In fact, you don't want to trifle with any two. And even the smaller one, like the Rippers, which are quite small, they're fucking nasty. And trust me, I know, I, I've got the... the Games Workshop models, like, I've got a load of them. I need to repent a load of them, actually, but I've got a load of them. Um, you know, a bunch of the older ones and some new ones as well, so I do know. I know my Tyranids quite well. And here we have the uh, other one. So I've got the two of them right there. These will be good. Uh, I've already got an idea of what colour scheme I'm going to do this one in. Well, 
either one in. I've got one of them. I need to figure out what the other one is. What well, do you think colour schemes wise? Um, I'll quickly show you the, the pieces that I've got. These are not fully done. Um, this is just a coating of the fang with two, with a little coat of null oil on it. And I've got little bits done in there with some greys. Uh, this one's actually been painted up to be the colours of High Fleet Behemoth. Um, and I did actually go to the game, did my local games workshop store and asked them, I want to do a, a paint job for High Fleet Behemoth, but in a new modern style, because they've, they've slightly updated uh, the way Leviathan is and how you paint the miniatures, the, the you know, the Tyranids in High Fleet Leviathan. Because um, it changed slightly a couple of years. It was, you know, if you look at it now compared to what it was like 10, 12 years ago, 14 years ago, it's quite a bit different. Uh, so I wanted to do the same with Behemoth, but I didn't know where to go, so I asked them. Uh, here's one of the pieces that's almost done. It just needs um, a, a Berserker Bloodshade wash on it. It takes time painting these as well, because I have to do one side, then I've got to do the other side, and then neatening up and washes and whatnot. It does take a lot quickly, so... Uh, can sort of see one of the bicep parts right here. Um, it, it'll it'll show up better when I show in the review once I've I've got to focus on more on this. To be quite frank, as you can see there, you know, it just takes a lot of work. And again, you know, multiple coats of red, not just one thick layer, like a couple thin layers to get it to be a solid colour. And then all the insides as well. It does take time. <laughs> uh, even though the paint is acrylic and it you know dries quickly, it does take time. Um, and then it has to be sealed as well because it's acrylic paint, it will chip off the plastic. So I've got to use an enamel based clear coat to protect it. Right, so that's those two aside. Um, and I got those parts, by the way, those uh, five because there's a bunch of others in, the, in my living room on the tray and I didn't just want to bring them all in and take up time. Now this one is the Ultimate Pennywise uh, from IT. This is actually the first um, release that they did, the original Ultimate release. This doesn't have the box, which is fine, because when I do get one with the box, that one will be for parts and customs, uh, which, so no problem at all. And uh, it's all nicely in the bag. I did see the photos as well before I got it, and it was all complete. And it's, it's been an official one as well. So let's get this out. Get the bubble wrap down there. All that shit inside. Let's get everything here and see where we go. All right, we got the. Because he's already got some of his hands on him. So we have, we've got the little uh, the hand here for holding, you know, while it's showing up, uh, the hand for holding the boat, Georgie's boat, which is there. It's not, it's not, it's not hollow underneath, it's solid, which is fine, because uh, otherwise it'd be pretty weak. Uh, the paint job's actually quite nice. I can definitely tell that is an official because the, um, you know, the, I know it's not showing up so well, but that lettering there, the SS Georgie, is very, very crisp and clear. In fact, it's so crisp and clear, even with my glasses off, I can see it pretty well. Um, so that is good to know because, you know, the knockoffs that have been produced these days are very, very close. There's only a few things, like close scrutiny, that really... So, sorry, when, it's only when you closely scrutinise them, you can see that they're actually fakes. Uh, we do have the other... Um, wide open hand as well and that's because Pennywise here has uh, the other one on his actual hand so he's got it right there which is good um, and then of course the other hand is the uh, the one for holding the balloons which uh, is the ball gazer hand quite literally which I think is fucking hilarious um, yeah this guy this guy is gonna need some joints tightening up because uh, he was second hand already um, some of them are fairly decently tight, but a lot of them are like the lower torso, they are loose, which is fine, because at least I know that nothing's going to break when I move it. Uh, I'd rather it be too loose and have to tighten it, than it be stupidly tight and risk breaking it when I loosen it up, um, which is fine. So, get that, just in a minute. So we'll get the balloon as well. Um, and I see that the uh, wire did break here, uh, which is fine, because... You know, heck, I've bought broken things before and I've repaired them, it's not a problem. You can sort of see where the wire was there. It needs to be, where is it? Yeah, here we go. So, um, and unfortunately it's, no, it's not, you know, the, uh, you can sort of see a little bit there, a little white bit. That's where it originally was and then it got, I don't know what it's showing up, it got fed up into there. Uh, well, sh shoved into there, sorry, so. Um, yeah, stick that back in there, a little bit of glue in there and that'll fix it up good. Um, is then back in its original slot because it's actually a piece of wire with like a thin um 
what is it? Um, insulative white coating to kind of make it a little less strong, which is clever because it means that you know when you're holding it, you know you can bend it around. But it's quite a cool idea. But uh, you know, it's, as a result of that, it did come out. Not a problem. Fine. So, and we get the heads. The heads. These look pretty good. That is very very nicely done. The eyes are very nicely done as well. That's the the one that you know when he grabs Georgie's hand and bites it. Uh, which I've read the book actually, and it's slightly different. In the book, uh, Pennywise doesn't actually bite his arm off. He actually just grabs his arm and yanks it right off. Yeah, I, I will just say, the book for it, it's fucked. It's fucked up. That's all I said. But this is a very, very nicely done head. And I do look forward to getting one or two of the others. Uh, well, I'm going to get all of them just so I can get all the heads. The bodies can all go for parts, and then I can have, like, all the different heads of that one. So... <laughs> It works out well for me, all the different uh, body types, because customs, either way. So we've got the monster head, we've got the, um, God, I'm really not doing well today. It's been, today's been hectic. It's been mental, and I've been distracted so much and under a lot of stress lately. Uh, we've got the other one, which, uh, the kind of serious head. Uh, this looks to me more like the one where, um, you know, he's captured Beverly, and more towards the end, and he's doing the little freaking dance, kicking his legs, uh, the dancing clown bit on this stage, it's been a fucking ages since I've seen the film. It's that bit, um, where he's, you, you, I can't fucking remember to be honest. Either way, it's that bit where he's dancing in front of her before he grabs her and then, oh, I can't remember what he did, like attacker or paral possessed her or something like that. Um, it's been fucking years. I need to watch the film again. It was a good film. I need to see the second part as well. Uh, either way, but still, now we have the main thing itself. Um, It is quite good, like I said, I've seen reviews of this. This was a very, very nicely done figure when it came out. Um, and then the uh, the one they did for part two was only slightly different. There were a slight few uh, changes to it. Um, one of them being the ruffles piece, which is separate anyway. Let me just see if we can sort the heads up. And, well, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Instead of popping the head off and dropping the, uh, the ruffle, I was meant to pop the head off there, but end up popping off at the ball joint. It's fine, it's not a problem, it just, it's a ball peg, so... Oh, it's a, du oh, it's a double ball peg, fuck me, wow, that's... Fucking alright, let's get this on. Jesus the Christ, there we go, pardon my language. Yeah, so that's how it's meant to be. It's meant to pop off there, not the bottom. Fucking hell, sorry. Where, where's the ruffles? Alright, pop that on there. And the monster head should fit on there as well. Yeah, that does fit on nicely. Again, I'll be kind of working a bit more with it afterwards. Whilst I'm uploading the ruddy video. Is that going to go in more? Yeah, um, it goes in enough. I'm going to work with it a bit more, like I said. Um, shoulders, let's test these. The rotation is still pretty tight, which is good. And the outer side looks fair. Yeah, that's as much as I'm going to get out of that going. You know, it's not going to go any more than that because of the shape, which is fine. Uh, bicep still rotates. I'm always conscious with these because it's a piece of vinyl with a peg going to a vinyl socket. Friction can break. The elbows. Again, very, very tiny joints as well, so I don't want to break anything. Oh, ooh, that's actually a little bit tight, that one still. There we go. Yeah, the lower elbow was actually quite tight still, which is a good thing. Yeah, that is, that's still there. The wrists, the hands come off a little easily, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'll sort this more out when I get around to reviewing it. Uh, that's probably gonna need some um, hair dryer just to soften up and get it to go in properly, it's not a problem. Actually, you know what, I'll try this angle, see this hand should fit in a bit better. Maybe not, because the bloody hinge is annoying. Right, all right, we'll sack that one off for the minute. <laughs> this is gonna be a bit of a fiddly one. That one still works there. That still works. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it does take a bit of time because I'm just trying not to force or break anything. That's the, that looks like it should rotate down at the bottom, but I'm not gonna do anything just yet. Let's see, let's get these out of the way. Let's test the uh, upper or the diaphragm. Is that? Yeah, that seems to have good range again. I'll flex it a little bit. Right, now the legs. 
The legs are the tricky part because unfortunately this bloody piece is a bit of, it's a, the vinyl's too stiff. So your leg movement, and it's also, your legs don't really want to move out there at the moment. It's glued in there and there, so it's kind of glued in, so like that. I mean, I've pulled, I've broken the glue off now, which is good because that will enable, uh, well, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be blasting this lower piece with a hairdryer and then really softening it so I can get some good poses of the legs. Vice of wool still works, which is good because they can be quite stiff at times on some figures. Now, are the, now, question is, are the legs uh, the same length? Uh, this one appears to be a little bit longer, which means that this leg here, this one, isn't quite seated in all the way. There is a slight assembly issue, so it was like it on all of them where, I'll show you, you see how one leg is slightly longer than the other. Again, they weren't, some of them, it, was, it was like it on all of them, um, the first few ones, and even the... Uh, the one they did a Tim Curry had this problem as well. Oh, the knees are still freaking tight. <laughs> knees are still bloody tight. Okay. So again, it's just it's nothing I can't fix. I'll be sorting that out very soon. All right, that's bizarre. Um, the hinge in the foot is white, and it's clear that they painted it black. Why didn't they just mold it black? Weird. Whatever. Um. It's actually like a Marvel Legends joint because it pivots as well, which is nice. Often, obviously, it's off at an angle, so that's where you, you know, rotate it. But that's a good. I do prefer this type of foot joint. It's the kind of thing that McFarlane have been doing now for quite a bit, and it's it's you know it's a good joint. Um, the Jason, the remake Jason. Uh, I didn't end up. I can't. You know, I don't think I did do an unboxing of that one. No, I didn't. Uh, that one does um, have the same type of ankle pivot, which is good. Uh, is nice because it does allow for better posing it's so it's a, it's a much uh, sturdier joint than a ball joint because ball joints can get loose over time and speaking of loose not a problem not a problem um right, let's see i'm quite surprised the knees are still tight actually that is something okay so yeah that one those knees work fine um that one works and then the ankle Works nicely. Let's see where that, you know what? I think while I'm at it, I will grab uh, my two, I'll grab Freddy and Jason and do comparisons with this guy because he is a horror character. I wouldn't say it is a, is a slasher film though. It's actually a form horror film where there's, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street and um, the Friday the 13th films are slasher films, but they have a very, a very heavy horror element to them. So I do apologise for the constant sniffling, it's a bit dusty in here, I've done a load of cleans today and uh, it's all in the fucking air now, my nose is a bit sensitive to it. Um, so here's the uh, original version of Freddy Krueger, as in, well, the, the ultimate version of, uh, you know, the first Nightmare on Elm Street film. And um, well, I'm going to take the fucking hat off actually because the hat makes Freddy, does, does make Freddy look a little bit bigger. I mean, Bill Skarsgård's quite a tall guy and even in It, um, you know, the clown, the Pennywise, the clown was quite freaking big. And Robert England's actually kind of short as well, so I'd say that kind of works. I'm not super sure. It looks better on camera than it does in person, actually. In person, it looks like they're close to the same height, but I'd say that kind of works. Um, and then Jason here, um, who, in, in the remake of, Night, of Friday the 13th, Jason uh, was played by Derek Mears. And Derek Mears is a big guy. He's, I think, six foot two, something like that. Fucking lot. He's quite tall, um, so obviously I'm expecting these two to be similar in height. Because again, Pennywise was also quite fucking tall. Um, and, uh, yeah, they are definitely around the same height. Per se, move his arm out the fucking way. Yeah, they are definitely around the same height. Uh, I think Pennywise is slightly taller. Um, I mean, it makes sense because he was huge in the film. Um, and Jason, again, pretty big guy. The actor who played him was also big. So this does make sense. Um, and I think, I think as well, one of the reasons Pennywise looked bigger as well in the film, again, is because the Derry crew were only kids. They would have been like, they were, you know, they wouldn't have been a full, like, full five to six feet as a, you know, a standard adult size. Because, um, I mean, I'm six foot. I'd probably come up around his height if he was real. 
Um, but obviously, you know, at the end of the film, he looks bigger because it's, you know, the, the camera is on more of the character's head height and the Derry crew, they, they're, I think, around 11, 12-ish at that point in the film. Um, so they are going to be much shorter and therefore Pennywise is going to look a lot nicer. I'm going to try and get one of those hands in. Let's see, let's try this one time. Come on. Yes, you're going in there. Good, good, good. Excellent. There we go. Right, so that's gone in quite nicely. That has gone in very nicely right there. So now he has his hand on. I'm going to try and swap the uh, other head out and get on that brownie one. Excellent. That one actually came off without taking the neck with it. Good, 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 good. Right, let's see. Um, ah, that one went on nice and easy. Yep, that one's actually seated in all the way. That is good. That is very good. That has uh, gone in. Yeah. Now he has both the fucking wide hands. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's that's quite good. I do like, I mean, I wanted this one anyway. I did want, I want to get all of them. Because um, Pennywise is cool. Like I said, I've seen the film and I've read the book. I need to watch the mini series of Tim Curry. Because um, that was quite good. I've seen some clips though, so I know what I'm getting in for. But And then, yeah, so six foot, probably six foot five, maybe seven feet. You can see the big difference here. So Gene Steele is fucking large. Um, quite big. And one more comparison, since I've just seen it down there, because I was going to take some photo. I think I was going to take a photo with it, I can't remember. Uh, everyone's favourite, the big chap. The seven feet tall, horrid bastard that we first saw in Alien. And of course, he towers above Pennywise, as he should do, because Big Chap was, the actor who played Big Chap in the Alien film was seven feet. He was a seven foot tall guy, and that's why they chose him. And as you can see, yeah. Um, and I was trying to keep the feet at the same length. And yeah, you can see <laughs> the Alien is fucking bigger, um, which, Makes sense. So he's pretty big. I dare say he's like six feet. And uh, I need to, um, yeah, I need to, fucking, what am I doing? I need to fucking uh, find out what his height is and then mention it when I review him. I might get this review, review done fairly soon, actually, because I can probably just disassemble, tighten the joints, let him, uh, you know, stiffen up, put him back together, and then bang. And it'll be a quick and easy review as well, actually, unlike some of the others, because he's. Not got quite as much to go through as your ultimate ones. Um, so I'll see, again, that's actually something we need to do, is to get another iPhone, because this fucking thing has shit all space on it. Um, and it's one of the reasons I've not been pumping out reviews as much lately, because managing the space is a pain in the ass. I've already transferred a load of shit onto my PC. Um, whatever. So still, that's been uh, this fourth out, the original four out of four unboxing, the final one originally, but it's now ended up being the four out of five with two horrible, uh, disgusting, vile, insidious beasts. Um, you'll know if you know. If you know little Tyranids, you know. And then uh, just as insidious creature, fucking Pennywise. I do wonder, actually, if Neku are going to do a variant of this guy from part two with the, um, the spider legs. Um, I hope they do, because they've done the spider gremlin, so it could probably be a similar format with this guy. Uh, but still, no, I'm definitely happy with these. Uh, looking forward to... Stiffening this guy's joints up and then get him in a pose and I'm looking forward to finishing my uh, Other Yggmar jeans to off my first one and then reviewing the three of them together kind of like showing one uh, as standard and then you know and that one that's painted but uh, still um, Thanks for bearing with me for all this and I, I'm open to get more videos done. I've still got the plasma cutter to do um, That is still getting that is still getting done um, it's just taking ages because I've got, I've got, I'm overloaded at the moment with things. And it's going to be even worse when the next thing arrives, which is soon in the video. Uh, so, with that, guys, I do hope you've enjoyed this. And I hope you've you know, been able to pull up with my rambling. Um, and with that, guys, you know, if you want some links, they'll be in the description. I've got one for the Gene Stealer. I've got one for uh, Pennywise as well. Uh, my Instagram's there as well. I'll do a few photo shoots with these fairly soon. And uh, with that, guys, well... I, uh, I hope to see you all in the next uh, video, whenever that may be. Probably next week or something. I, like I said, I'm usually better than this, but I'm burning out. <laughs> and today's been very exhausting, so that's why I'm not at my uh, usual, uh, more sophisticated self, as it were. Uh, but no, hope you enjoyed, and I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one.
Take care.